Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and today I want to make three different ways to alter tea bags, and a fun surprise at the end. So you guys have to wait to see what we do. It's pretty cool. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so to get started, let's go ahead and put these to the side. We'll start with this one, and these are I've never I haven't steeped them or anything, and there's a reason for that. Uh, There'll be a couple little things that we can do with them. So they're there's dry, just dry tea bags. And this one's peppermint and it smells so good. I, I love the smell of it. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna keep it the way it is. I mean, we're gonna do some cool things to it, but we're gonna keep the tea stuff inside of it. Okay, the tea stuff, like the tea, <laughs> the stuff made of tea. Okay, so I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and rummaging through your cupboards and getting out some tea bags and seeing what you could do here because this is going to be just a little, a little different, you know. I am a little different with some stuff I do here. So let's see. So I'm spreading out the tea evenly here. Well, as even as I can just to... Because we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a stamp on top of it. There. Let's see if you guys could smell it. It smells so good. It's just a peppermint tea stash. Which I, can, I really like the tag. I don't even want to mess with the tag. I think it's really cool. So I like these tags. Okay. And what you're going to need is... Let's do permanent ink. And it's just a ink pad. I just added like permanent ink to it, just like a liquid. So it's nothing too crazy here. And this is just parchment paper I put underneath so I don't get it all over my desk. And some stamps. I just wanna do some fun little script stamps, would be cool. Um, let's do the birds. So we're just adding a little bit of fun things to look at. cool. I mean, that's just neat. I like that just by itself. So that's pretty fun. So now what you could do if you want to, and we could test it just to see how it would turn out, is you could take your watercolors and do some cool watercoloring in it. Uh, you could take color pencils and do some color penciling in it. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I'll go grab, I'm going to go grab my Let's do color pencils, because I think if you get it wet, then you're going to mess with the inside of it. But I, if you dried it, I think it would be okay. But let's let's try color pencils. Let's, let me go grab some real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed some Crayola crayons and color pencils. So let's see. What can we play with here? And I stamped the other side. I did my the other part of the stamp down here. And then that one on that side. Let's see. I'm not sure if color pencil would work. Let's see. And I just got just some crazy art, just cheap color pencils. <laughs> Nothing special. Just the, you know, the basics here. Okay, let's see. What color do we want our bird? So you got the tea in there too to mess with. So it'll make it kind of bumpy looking, but I think yeah, it's a little light. That's what I was wondering. So I wonder if the wax from using these. Let's just do they're all thrown in there backwards and stuff. Who knows? Just something you have hanging around. I don't even think that's the same kind. Huh, I just have random stuff thrown everywhere. 
So that's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Just whatever you can find. Um, that's kind of cool. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to get some color on it. So that's fun. Okay. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this bag at the end here because that'll be part of the surprise. It's going to be pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. I think it'll be pretty fun. Okay. So we're just giving it some color. You do whatever stamp you want and whatever colors you want to use, but I don't know. I think I would stay away from the watercolors for this just, just because if it gets all wet, you're going to have to make sure to dry it really good. And I don't know if it'll take the smell away. Um, let's see what color are there little heads. Maybe black. I don't want to push too hard. I don't want to put a hole in it. So we're just kind of just adding a pop of color. Their beaks. And you can even move the tea around. There you go. Then you get to the table with it. There. And then if you want, we could do, um, well, we did blue. Maybe like an orangey. What is this one? Red orange. So this can be maybe the sunset in the background. I'm just messing around. Let's give it a little decoration, but. There we go. Okay, and whatever you want to do on the other side. Violet red. So I'm just gonna do a quick scribble here. Like it doesn't need to be perfect. I mean, unless you want to sit and make it perfect. By all means, do it. But just for camera's sake here, video time. I'm just popping something down. Um, there's a light blue, or what color is this? Turquoise, a little turquoise blue. a little pop of color. So there we go. And then for now, we're going to set this to the side. Put it over there. And it, mm, my hands smell like peppermint. It's pepperminty. Okay, so we're done with those. And then for number two, I wanted to do washi tape. So you got your tea bag. Now, if we're, if you're wanting to, or a dry bag like this and uh, this isn't a bad idea if you want to you know take out the stuff in it we can um, just get a lid or get something you know that you could set in the corner of your craft room or uh, wherever you know your chair you sit by watch TV or anywhere in the house you know and uh, just have like maybe a cooler container than this it's just a lid but you could cut the bottom dump all the stuff out Let's do a snip at the bottom. And then it could be like potpourri. So, or put it in your bathroom. That's a good one. You can put it in the bathroom, which I might do that. And you can have a smell of whatever, peppermint or, um, I also have a lemon tea bag. This one, 
Yeah, that one's lemon. So that one's kind of cool. And, uh, and there we go. And then we got a nice, cool little bag to play with. So don't throw this out because this is great to use. Okay. So what we want to do is we're going to have some washi tape fun. So we'll just leave it, you know, we'll leave it just like that. And I just got some washi tape here. Just whatever you guys have on hand. I'm sure you got something. And I'm just gonna decorate it this way. So you can just lay it down how you want. And I'm gonna line it up. Here, let's go like that. We'll do it right in the middle. And we can always trim the edges too, so. Or you could do enough and then wrap it around too. That would work. But I don't know if you wanna keep it open in the middle. Cause uh, I do have a video of, uh, with these kind of bags, doing um, some paper clips, some hidden paper clips. So I'll put that down below so you guys come check it out. And, uh, but these are great to use to do like a hidden paper clip for your junk journals. Okay. So I'm just adding some washi. Okay, and then something for the top. That one might be too small, but that's kind of cool. You can keep the top open if you want to, because we can ink it. I'm gonna ink around too. Okay, so I'm just gonna just decorate the front for now. But you guys do both sides. Get them how you want them. And yeah, they're great to add to your journals. Or do you know do a paper clip, a hidden paper clip in them. Those are it's. A really good fun way to do with these but so we got that we got some vintage photo Don't thinking around it grunging it up okay that and now let's go ahead and add I just don't know what sticker I want to put on. So you can do this one I think would be fun. Either you got to cut out the, well, you don't have to, but the white or, you know, just take, <laughs> take some ink. It's better than fussy cutting it out and you can just do that and that helps get rid of that white. Like that. But I think this one will look cute. So, you know, just decorate it up with some stickers and washi tape, and um, that's definitely one way to do it. And they don't have to be a brand new tea bag. I just had a bunch that I sat la last night, <laughs> no joke. I sat and cut out, here, I'll show you guys. But here, just stick this down. Stick it where you want it. But I sat last night and uh, this is the container I put them in. And um, oh, I think I have a bunch, but it's the bigger ones. The ones just like this that you can unfold. These are the little square ones. And I sat and opened them all up and got all the tea out of them. They were all used ones that my husband and I had drank, you know, so they were all dried. And I sat and opened them all up and got all the stuff out of it. And then thought this morning of doing a whole tea bag to, on the video. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm just gonna open a new tea bag. So, but I'm not going to waste it because this will be definitely put this somewhere for a good smell. Okay. Or you can use it in your loose, like, you know, a tea uh, steeper, you know, those little metal tea steepers. You can pour it in that and dip it in your tea, of course, you know. 
there's alternatives you can do. Just don't waste it. Okay. So we got that on there. I think that's fun. You can even add a little word if you want to. And, uh, words are fun. Oh, let's do a door. That one popped out at me. Because I adore it. Here. Yeah, let's do it like that. So there. So these are cute just to stick in a pocket into your junk journal or, you know, however you want to do it. So that one's done. Okay, we'll put that one, the other one. And then number three is, this is the lemon one. So I'm going to clear out the stuff. I'll have peppermint lemon. Ooh. That's gonna smell good. And they're really, I mean, they got a great, they smell so good. So I'm just snipping the bottom. Sliding it out. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Do a little mixture here. You can see the little lemongrass and stuff in it. That's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. And why not, you know, when you're, uh, we might try it when we're doing, cause right now I'm gonna do a, did I say what I'm doing? No. A napkin and words, yeah. So I'm gonna do some decoupage. Uh, I wonder if I, do I wanna do it this way or this way? Let's do it this way. So I have a little staple showing. So we're gonna do some decoupage. Which I just have water and glue, 50-50 water or glue. Shake it up really good. Uh, I got some napkins I love using, which I'm sure you guys have seen before. Uh, just some fun little napkins that have, um, I have so many of them. Why not use them, right? I got butterflies on them and flowers. So you just get the one ply or rip it until you have one ply left like that. And I'm gonna use some uh, pattern paper. Just some big old thing of pattern paper here. A tiny tea bag. Uh, and I'll just rip something cool off of there. So let's just do that. And a paintbrush. Just whatever paintbrush you got. Okay. And this is just 50-50, just glue, just Elmer's regular school glue and water. So I'm just going to add some of that down. I guess I can have something ready. Okay, so I'm going to throw this on top and then we can layer it up. And this one's going to glue shut, but that's okay. I don't mind it. Well, let's see. So let's do that. I'm just ripping around. And the wrinkles, I don't mind them. I think they give it a little character. Um, oh, let's do this, maybe. Okay. I'll just pop this down. So whatever you got. Line it up to the edge here. Oh, I didn't realize it folded over. 
Well, that's why it's not cooperating with me. It's all stuck to my fingers. you got just tons of you know not tons just some napkins and uh, uh tissue paper works great um let's see i'm just gonna get a little rip of the um, pattern paper i don't know why i always forget what the name of this is it's pattern paper sewing paper. <laughs> okay. And I do want a butterfly. I just don't know if we're getting too crazy here. Is there any such thing? Maybe. Okay. So I'm just going to see. Only one way to find out. I keep smelling the peppermint. I mean, you guys have to try this. It smells really good. Don't drink it. Use it as potpourri. Okay, so we went a little nuts. But it has been decoupaged. For sure. Um, okay, I'm going to dry it real quick. All right, so I got the semi dry. It's not all the way dry, but I think it looks cute. And for the tag here, I want to keep the I Love Lemon. It's I, I think it's cute. But on this side, we can do a little collaging here. It's the same concept. So I'm just gonna throw this down. Go blow dry it really quick and then we can cut around it. So I will be right back. All right, so that's a little better. And I don't want to cut my string. But I might. Keep it out of my way. I can cut this part of the string. Okay. Just a little lace to it. Just something. Okay. Use some fiber fix. give it something all right now it's up to you if you want to cut the edges or not but I kind of like the little edge look here gives a little something Find a word. No, oh, I've got a big mess going over here. Okay. Get a word. Get that out of my way before I spill it. I have enough napkins here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, white. Maybe a white word. 
Um, I don't know if I want something huge. Like what size? Um, smile. Let's do smile. Smile's always good. We should all smile more. Not a bad thing. And there we go. And like I said, you can cut around it if you want to, but I'm kind of liking it like that. I'm liking it like that. And I'll get good pictures at the end here so you guys can see them. But that's what we got. Okay, so I'm gonna clear off all, all this and then I will show you guys the surprise. Okay, I know I said that I was gonna use this in, in the thing, which would work, but let's see. Oh, I just cleaned my paintbrush and I put it away. So hold on, we're gonna use our finger. So what if you went like this? <laughs> I'm curious now. Just put down some glue real quick and then grab a little bit of your tea and do a little sprinkle. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So this is what I was thinking. Is why not? It gives it a little texture. So we'll set that to the side and see how that dries. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a little shiny, but I just added a little bit of texture to it. As long as it's in the glue, it should stay on there. But that's a fun thing to do. Whoops. Wow. So yeah. I'll try that. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Okay, so enough of that. We'll put that to the side. Put that to the side. Now, on to the surprise. So let's see. So I was thinking earlier that, uh, you know, when you open your tea bag up, you have your little pouch, right? So this is the stash, the peppermint. Uh, and if you guys... If you guys, if we had smell -a vision this would be, you would be like, it's so good. Let's go get it if you can, because it smells really, really good. Okay, so let's do this side. And I'm like, why not add some fun, I don't think I'm going to do that, some fun fabric. Why not? So like this. Oop. Now, your choice is yours. You can glue it down. Okay. Or, and you know it, you guessed it, I'm going to sew it. But you cannot sew it to the bag because it's going to be a pocket. And the cool thing is, is it's going to be a pocket for your tea bag to go in for a little potpourri in your junk journal. So you can have a potpourri when you open up your junk journal and smell peppermint. How cool is that? How that would it just be so amazing. So that's what we're going to do. So this one has the uh, peppermint. Yeah, I keep smelling it. it has the peppermint in it. Okay, so you got that. We're crooked, but hopefully at the end of it, it won't be crooked. And we got a little thingy. We got a little button that we're going to put on. And then the fun little part that I cut out from fabric. And I love this little guy. A little cardinal. Why not? Why not? I saw my, it was sitting in my pile of material and I went, I'm going to cut him out. So we'll probably wind up gluing him on because that would just get crazy at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sewing machine. Okay. And don't sew it. But if you're going to glue it, just go ahead and just take your glue. And I would use uh, uh, the, the Fabrifix glue because it does great from material to uh, what aluminum. I mean, I don't even know what this is. But it's not paper. So 
mean, you can see it's kind of aluminum-y, but it, it will glue great. It'll glue to it. Okay, so I'm going to start with layers. So I'm going to stick these two together like this, and I'm just stacking them on top of each other. Okay, and then this one's going to go just right on top of it, just on the edge here. And I'm just going to sew right here, just right along the edge. Okay. Then after I do that, I'm going to grab my other piece, set it on top, and then just sew right here along the edge. Now, after you get it all sewn together and it's, you know, you sew here and here to attach them, you can go crazy and do the zigs, the wiggly stitch, you know, like the wavy and do some wavy stitching and, a decorative stitch if you have that on your sewing machine do some flowers on it or something uh, Which I might do so I'm gonna go to my machine and I will be right back All right, so I got that all done and I'm just sewing the button on right now So I just went back and forth back and forth through here And then you can just tie a little knot in the back because we're gonna glue it down so I'm just tying a knot And I want to tell you guys, do not be afraid to play like with your stitches on your sewing machine. I mean, your machine's there to work for you. So you just make it work for you. And uh, it really is fun. And you just put it on the stitch that you want and then just let the machine do its work. Don't, don't yank it through. Don't try to force it through. Just let it go. Guide it, you know, and uh, just guide it the way you want it and just let the machine do the work for you. And it's just so much fun. And you can do fun little decorative stuff and all kinds of things. Okay. So what we're going to do is we can just go ahead and dirty this up a little. I think I tea-dyed this. It was already uh, uh, tea-dyed. A little lace that I did. But let's grunge up everything else. I'm just doing vintage photo the one I got out. Okay. And we're just going to glue it down. Just like that. And if some of the tea bag shows through, that's, or the tea pocket, tea pouch, then even better. Okay. So let's do some fabric fix. And I kept my threads long, but you could cut yours if you want. I think they're kind of fun to just hang out to the sides. And just be careful of uh, the seepage through. If you do big globs of uh, the fabric fix, it'll it'll go through the fabric. So I just take this and just kind of rub it on there. Or you can take your finger and rub it around. But I'm just kind of just going like that so I don't have big globs. So I'm using the tip to just kind of move it around like that. And it still might seep through, but that's okay. It usually dries and looks better once it dries, but. There we go. All right. And then I'm gonna do the same. Just a little glue on the back here. armor crust. Okay. And we're just going to pop it down. I'm making a big mess today. I don't know why. Look at all my little napkin pieces over here I'm using. <laughs> that I was using for collage. Okay. So that goes down. Because I figure I need a little pop of red to match this little guy. Now... However you want to do it, you can have his tail hang down a little bit. You can bring him over to the side over here, which that might be kind of cool. We can bring him over here. Because I don't know if I want his head sticking up, especially with things going in and out of the pocket. So I'm going to glue it like that. Yeah, 
Okay. I'm trying to make a mess here, but I think I'm making a mess more than anything. Oh, I didn't need it on the stick, did I? Or the bottom of his tail. Well, well, well. I did it anyway. So let's take your little napkin you got hanging out. <laughs> wow. Let's try this again. To do gluing 101 here. How not to glue. There we go. And that's how it's done, folks. <laughs> Turn it. I've been trying not to get glue on my little table here. And I managed it. Okay. There we go. I made that look simple, huh? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we got him on there, and I like it. I mean, I don't think it needs anything else. I was thinking a word, or maybe I'll just have words in my head. I wonder if a stamp. No, see, I don't want to do too much. I don't want to do too much. I think it, I think it's okay. I like it just like that, but it almost seems like it needs something right there, huh? Like I could have brought this up higher, but hmm. Oh, you know what it could do? What I could do? What if we did a little tea bag? What if we did that? And did cozy chamomile? I mean, I don't I don't even mind that. Let's do something around that. Let's do something like that. Let's see. Let's think here. Let's think. I'd love to hear in the comments if you guys can think of a different thing, but geez. It'll be too late, won't it? <laughs> but if you guys did come up with something, I'd love to hear it. Uh, this could almost be like a little pocket here, but that's just getting crazy. But what if we just stuck it down and then kept the T hanging like that? I mean, what do you guys think? I think so. Cozy chamomile. Keep it, keep it all like that. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I don't know. I like it. Because it just seems like it needs something right there. And then it's got the words, so we don't need nothing else. Let's do it. I don't want to cover up our pretty pattern on top. Well, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Did I ruin it? I don't know. I think it's kind of fun because it's a tea bag, right? Yeah. Because we're gonna have a tea in the tea bag in there, and this just shows that it was a tea bag, a tea pouch, I guess. Okay, and we got ourselves a little pouch here. Okay, I think we're doing. We're good. We're good. It's good. Now I'm gonna take my colorful little journal here, my rainbow journal. I did. This is like one of my first ones I've done, and I just keep putting stuff in it. Um, let's find a spot for it. Let's find a spot. Not bright purple. I don't think that'll work. This is all my rainbow, like, dyed paper and stuff. So I have, like, it's a big, it's a, I love it. I love it. Um, maybe here? be the star of the show. You can even put a bead on the end of here if you want. I mean, we could do that. Just add like a little wooden bead to the end of it. That would look cute. Okay. So I'm just going to glue this down. And I'm not going to make a back pocket or nothing. I'm just going to glue it all the way down. And this will make your journal smell so good. I'm gonna smell like peppermint. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I would love for you guys to tag me if you make one of these or make any of the alterations that we did. Uh, uh, tag me, you know, from my Instagram. And I have all my social media links down below, but it's snowstorm, 
snowstorm underscore crafts is what it is on my Instagram. But check out my links down below. I got a Facebook group and stuff. And um, yeah, come see, come see. I would love to see all the stuff you guys made. Okay, this has to fit in it because it went in it, right? So this will be a fun surprise <laughs> for me. So you just put it in there. Just pop it in your little pouch here, like that. So I thought this would be a fun surprise for all of you guys. I was like, why not? Why don't we make a little pouch out of the tea pouch? And then now we know, it's not chamomile that's in there, it's peppermint, we, we know that. But it's just cute, I just thought it was cute. And then we got this hanging off of it, which I love. I don't know why, I just really like it. I think it's cool. I don't wanna mess with it. I like the little symbol on the back and everything. I think it's pretty neat. So I'll have that hang off and you can put a bead on this one. And there you go. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of everything. And hit the like button if you like this video. But this is our little alterations here. Here, we'll take this one out to look at it. Like that. So we got our three different, three ways to alter tea bags and then our fun little surprise. And that's looking really cool just to show you guys, you see that? So yeah, take your tea and sprinkle it in your uh, glue and water mix. Look at that. You got yourself some fun happening, some fun times. So it's always been fun. It's been a great time with you guys. And if you could really help me out, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting, guys.